little piggy people. So in about 24 hours, I will be having somebody living in this cage section here. So this is a temporary setup. It's beside the herd and beside the sisters. So I was asked by Lady Bird Sanctuary if I could adopt or foster a male guinea pig who is apparently absolutely terrified. He was left out in a box and then in the shelter went into stasis from being so scared and not wanting to eat. So he went into a foster home and the lady fostering him has one other male guinea pig but he's being adopted out. So this little guy was going to be on his own and she felt it was best that he gets put somewhere where he has other piggy friends. So he will be coming here. He's not neutered, but he will get neutered in the future. So the only pig I have to keep him away from is Autumn. So I've set up his cage to hopefully make him feel comfortable. So he'll have pigs on either side. I've put a fleece drape on the back, kind of hanging it a little bit forward. So he has a nice darkened area back there with a cube to hide in. Wood logs. And then there's the water and pellet dish. So the sisters, the little skinny pig sisters here, eat their hay right here. So I thought having his over here and in the back corner would be nice. And then the herd will have some hay here. So we'll see how he does. Uh, the other terrified pig that I had was Velvet. And she really came out of her shell once she could just see other guinea pigs. So I'm really hoping that he'll be comfortable kind of sandwiched in between. Now, as for what our future plans are, I am really hoping that once he's neutered, I can try introductions with the sisters. So that's really the only option, as the herd already has Huckle as the main male, and then obviously Angus is the male for with Autumn. I have no idea how the sisters would do, the first time I tried the sisters with a male, that was back before they were spayed. So as you guys may or may not know, their hormones were off the charts crazy before they were spayed and they're pretty calm now. I mean, they're still a little bit of a crazy type of hyper pig, but they're way better. And then the other time I tried Annie with the herd because that was back before I could get the sisters rebonded and she clashed with Huckle. So Huckle's used to being the boss of the herd and Annie's a boss. So I don't know if this new little guy since he's not with any pigs has never been the man of a herd. Perhaps he will listen just fine to Annie. Who knows? That's the thing with pigs. You absolutely have no idea how they're going to react until you actually try the introductions. So regardless, the biggest thing is he's going to have uh, friends, like neighbors, bare minimum for right now, until he gets comfortable. He's going to have to, by the sounds of it, he's going to have to really get used to things around here before I would put him through a neuter so that he's easier to handle and can take hand feedings or medications if needed. So there's no rush for anything. So. I will show you guys the little guy when he arrives. What do you think, buddy? There's ladies over there. What do you think? You're so tiny. Here's the tiny little guy. What do you think? You're talking. Oh, sorry. I'll try not to move too fast. Hi, buddy. Good day. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, those are girls. Okay, don't be trying to squish your head in there too bad. Okay, we're getting crazy. Have to watch to make sure you're not a jumper, or else we might have to extend the grid height a little bit. Because she's just a wee little thing. Yes, he looks very boingy. Okay, we might be putting a lid on. Yes, you're very loud. I don't think you're very scared at all, are you? What do you think? I think we're going to be quite hyper. I could see him being very boingy. So I do think... Either a lid or... Hi! Hello! You're so cute! Hi! Hello! 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 I think you could be a troublemaker. You got lots to say. Let's have to make sure that he doesn't need plexiglass between him and Hucky. I'm not sure if he'd have a problem. Oh, you're getting all wound up. Well, I think we're going to do just fine here. Okay, so I decided to put a lid on. He is a lot tinier than I was kind of gathering from the pictures. He is probably, I don't know, I'm going to guess like six months old. He seems very tiny and very bouncy, so I could see him easily clearing the grids with motivation to get to the other pigs. And I also put some plexiglass that's about a third high because he was deciding to chew the bars pretty vigorously down below. So I don't want him to hurt his teeth and kind of want to discourage him from getting too crazy. But he has been all around his cage. He has said hello to Raisin and to Annie. He seems to be doing very well. I think he's going to do great. I clipped his nails. So that was pretty easy actually. He kind of is like a baby pig where if you let go he'll jump off your lap. But as long as you have a hold of him he'll stay where he is. He's hiding in the cube. Get some more footage later when he comes out. If you like watching guinea pig videos learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!